Postman Strange, Alien Sightings of Canada <coughs> Aliens are living creatures, not originally from Earth. They could be anything from intelligent life to simple bacteria. However, there is no concrete evidence to support life outside of our planet as of now. Scientists have allegedly found an a- asteroid that could be Martian bacteria. 1967, Falcon Lake, Toba Incident Stephen Makalak was burned by one of the two flies with which he reportedly came into contact on May 19, 1967, in Falcon Lake, Mount Entobie. 1967, Shahag Harbour, Nova Scotia incident. Shahag Harbour incident. The incident was reported crash of an identified flying <coughs> object in the Shag- Shahag Harbour, Nova Scotia, Scotia, in October 1967. 1969, Prince George BC UFO. In Prince George, British Columbus, three underrated witness reported. A strange round object in the late afternoon sky on January 1st, 1969. Sphere radiated a yellow orange light and appeared to ascend from 2,000 to 10,000 feet. 1975 to 1976, Southern Matatubia. Charged Red Stars. Several incidents were reported by of a red glowing UFO, sometimes described as Miss. Mischievous or playful, studied in Seven Matoliers in 1975 and 1976. 1978, Clara, Claraville, Newfoundland and Labour Borough. In October 1978, Constable Jim Blackwood of the RCMP witnessed the sighting of a flying saucer hovering over the harbour near the town of Clareville and Random Island. This is reported in by local citizens. We ride and seen the UFO is still present and quite visible. It had a huge special high powered viewing scope which happened to be on loan at a time from other for other surveillance. Craft stayed in the area for approximately an hour and a half. We switched on the roof lights of his police cruiser. The craft appeared to mimic the flashing lights. This made headline news at the time and was broadcast on CBC television and NTC broadcasting in Newfoundland. The craft took off like a shooting star high in the sky and disappeared. Two years after the incident, BBC did a documentary on the UFO sightings, included the Claraville sighting that they broadcast in later years. Council Blackwood retired to his native home in Stellaton, NS. 1990, Mon- Montreal Aerial Phenomena, November 7, 1990, in Montreal, Quebec, witnesses reported a round metallic object of about 540 metres wide, a rooftop pole of Bunt Aventura Hotel. Eyewitnesses saw 8 to 10 side lights forming into the circle from above them, emitting light white, emitting bright white rays. The phenomena lasted three hours from 7 to 10 p.m. and moved slowly northwards. While none could be identified, lights a few witnesses, according to the next day report in La, La Presse, was ready to express their belief that it was visited by aliens. Few witnesses say they saw a television interview on CBC. 2010, Mar Harbour Millie Incident. June the night of January 25th, 2010, there were multiple UFO sighting reports in Harbour Millie, Newfoundland and Labour. The Royal Canadian Party Police initially stated the reports were due to a missile launch, but later reacted, retracted the statement, and the Office of the Prime Minister stated the UFOs were not missiles. 2010 Toronto Aerial Jellyfish Your Ontario, Ontario Aerial Jellyfish is an atmospheric jellyfish a type of UFO sighted in Ontario. The sighting prompted 
speculations that the creature what the what the creature really was.